There's more tonight about the allegations of financial irregularities at Douglas College in New Westminster. As we first reported, those allegations come out of a forensic audit ordered by the student union on itself. And now there's a petition to impeach the student union board. Are you aware of the impeachment petition that was recently out there for the last few weeks? A grassroots movement by Douglas College students has led to this petition to impeach the Douglas Student Union Board after major financial concerns were revealed by a forensic review. I'm very happy to say over 1,200 people signed the petition. We needed 10%, which uh, our magic number was about 870 signatures, so we're 40% over that, which is fantastic. Joey Hansen, the man responsible for the union's finances, was singled out in the audit. About 20 checks were issued payable to him for which auditors have not received satisfactory documentation. And his partner, Krista Peters, was loaned $20,000 of student union funds allegedly to buy a house. The money was repaid in late December. No, I'm not to comment at Why this would time. she be loaned money out of, of student union funds to buy a house? I'm just saying that the report contains inaccuracies and that I'm going to let the courts deal with this at this time. Can thing. you tell us what's inaccurate? Land titles documents show Hansen and Peters together bought this home in New Westminster in late January for $335,000, two months after the questionable loan. The audit says the student union also spent about $400,000 of restricted funds meant to pay students health and dental premiums on this building. The Canadian Federation of Student Services, an umbrella organization the union is a part of, repeatedly denied to us and our lawyer they provided the money to pay the union's premiums. A few days later, they admitted otherwise. Were you told to keep this secret or that this shouldn't be public knowledge? Absolutely. I was told that this wasn't to be an open discussion with anyone. So people weren't supposed to know that the CFS paid the premium? Yeah, no one was supposed to know. Global News has learned that Philip Lake of the Canadian Federation of Student Services in Ottawa was the one that approved the apparent top secret loan. Link and Hansen worked closely together here in BC in the past and we called Link to find out why his organization bailed out the union. The only issue here is that Douglas College Student Union fell behind paying its premiums and it owes the people it owes the money to. There's no loan as you've misrepresented. How can there be no loan if you advance the money on their behalf? I've already said that didn't happen. So how much did you advance? Zero. Where, what is your problem? Why, why do you not understand? We got a document from you saying that you, the CFS services advanced the money to pay the premiums. Is that not the case? Why don't you read me the exact passage? Statement of CFS services. On June 28, 2005, CFS Services transferred $276,000 to the insurance broker that manages the union's health and dental insurance plan. Is that true? The problem here is you are, you are misportraying that as being an advance. What would you call it? Hey, you know what? What's your problem? Link has climbed to the top of the CFSS despite his repeated run-ins with the law. Court records reveal in 1986, Link was charged with mischief. He was found guilty and given a discharge. In May of 1989, he was charged with breaking someone's window. He was found guilty and given an absolute discharge. Three months later, he was charged with assault and found guilty. In 1997, he was charged with assault again, this time against a female CFS executive. He was acquitted. Meantime, students at the college now need to call a special meeting to formally impeach the board, which last week rejected a motion to take Joey Hansen off paid leave, so he's still entitled to collect a paycheck.